What is up everybody, MSGD back. We've got some Black Ops 1 throwback for you here. I apparently have some contracts that the last time I played I started. So you can see only level 23. I used to play this game before I had this account, um, back when I used to share account with a couple family members. Uh, back in the day. Um, 12,000 people playing? There's no way that's true. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can get a game of TDM. Drop into Havana. Let's see uh, if this game has already started or if this game is going to be one that doesn't count towards the video. Let's see. Uh, no, it's basically just started. So this will be game one. Uh, in a couple weeks, we'll see game two. Okay, my sensitivity feels a little high for what I'm used to. Hold on, let's see what's my sensitivity here. I don't tend to go for a high sensitivity. I kind of tend to go for somewhere either at medium or somewhere between medium and high. So Black Ops 1 was not a game I played a whole lot. My friend growing up, this was his favorite game, and so I'd go to his house after school back in the day, and I would play it a good bit at his house. Like, I would guest on his account, but I was... Not very good. Neither was he. Uh, don't tell him I said that, but... Neither of us were that good, but, you know, we had fun. Our spy planes in the air. One of the last games to have pro perks, I believe. I believe the, the OG MW3 also had it, but I believe after that they got rid of pro perks, which I don't understand why they got rid of it. I always liked the grind of a pro perk, but... Okay, there's clearly some sort of a jammer somewhere. Oh, and there it was on the ground, but we're dead, so it doesn't matter. Hey, dude, turn around. I know you can't see, but like, surely you know that the danger is behind you. Our spy plane's in the air. I am is terrible. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's somebody gonna be back there. The moist ankle? Well, you're dead now, pal. Absolutely got him with that. Roasted. Alright, well, that, that time the moist ankle got me. And we're 3 and 6. That's not, that's not a great start. It's actually a pretty bad start. Oh, I'm getting myself with my own gas. Hold on. That's not a good look. Is he like right there or is he upstairs? He's upstairs. Well, damn. Oh, what are you just sitting there waiting for me for? Oh my goodness. Man, it is 2023. This game came out like 15 years ago. That's how you're choosing to play this? Come on now. Yeah, see what happens when somebody actually, like... I do wish that Black Ops 2 had the player base that Black Ops 1 has. But unfortunately, with how hacked everything is on Black Ops 2, nobody ever plays it, understandably so. But that's really disappointing. Come on, I know you're there. Whoa. I don't I don't know what got me there, but Alright. We almost got this push harder. Almost got this push harder. I'll see what I can do. I'll put a good word in, but not very good. Our 
our spy planes in the air. But yeah, so in case you were curious, this is what Black Ops 1 is like in uh, the year 2023. This is... I mean, the sound of the reload, the sound of the Galil shooting, all of it, very nostalgic. Scoreboard, very nostalgic. Basically, everybody, zero prestige, or not prestige yet in this game, in the game I'm in. When I loaded it up, the sound of like the the camera, like the shuddering almost. It's like, oh man, this is a throwback. game one. I think for the second game we'll go random. Um, contracts? Oh, get a bunch of extended mags kills? Okay, cool. I'm not going to end up getting that one, which that's whatever. I don't really actually care about the contracts. Because who cares if I get the COD points? Like, I don't ever play this game anymore. Um, but anyways, without further ado, I will let everybody go, and I'll see everybody in the next video.